Hi, I'm Katie Brand and I'm a writer, actor and comedian. Well, I have slightly fraudulently chosen to be a super space scientist. Uh, I am not a space scientist on any level whatsoever. I barely scraped GCSE maths. But uh, these women that I admire hugely who have been a huge part of the story of space travel and space science since it began uh, have really inspired me. And I did my most recent show uh, that I put on uh, was called I Could Have Been an Astronaut and is all about my amateur hobby, my love, of, my love of space and astronomy and how I wish I'd been better at maths because then maybe I could have done something with my hobby and, you know, been part of this sort of incredible, sort of the future of humanity in some ways. Uh, well, some of the women, I mean, there's, there's a great picture that sort of goes around every now and again of Margaret Hamilton. Uh, who was one of the uh, space scientists who one of the people who wrote the code for the Apollo missions standing and she wrote it all by hand uh, standing next to the stack of books with all her handwritten code it's as high as she is uh, so she's obviously an incredible figure uh, and uh, people like Peggy Whitson uh, who is a world record breaking uh, astronaut American astronaut who has commanded the ISS several times she's 57 years old she holds the record for the most consecutive days in space uh, really accomplished incredible uh, astronaut and scientist uh, I watched a documentary recently uh, about the Cassini uh, mission to Saturn and I didn't realize till I watched it that uh, um, so many women were in charge of that. Uh, people like Julie Webster, uh, who was the kind of main engineer behind the Cassini uh, space mission, and I just, you know, uh, they're just they're just doing their jobs and they're brilliant at their jobs. And uh, it's just sort of just so happens that they're women. But uh, I'm just mindful of the fact that in the past, uh, you know, women wouldn't have been allowed any part of it, and yet think how we would have suffered without their genius and their brilliance. You know, some things may never have even happened. Yeah, I think on every, almost in every genre, in every discipline, from the arts, media, you know, science, there are lots of hidden women and forgotten women uh, and that need to be brought to the fore and given a lot of attention and to be celebrated. Uh, but also the thing that I find that bothers me actually is all of the women who, throughout history, who had incredible potential uh, and were never allowed to realise it because they weren't allowed to be educated or to work or to even leave the house. And some women in the world still live like that. Uh, and, you know, what we're missing out on as a human species when we're not exploiting everybody's potential because there'll be geniuses out there hidden. You know, people say, look at the incredible progress we've made as a species over time. You know, the only species in the history of the world that's managed to leave our planet, all that kind of thing. And yes, that's true. Uh, and I just sometimes think how much sooner we'd have reached that point if we'd been allowed to exploit all the geniuses out there, uh, except for a very small band of people based often on their race and gender. You know, let's spread it out to everyone. Let's find everyone. Let's exploit everyone's potential in every field, uh, and uh, we'll we'll progress so much quicker. I think every year that the GCSE results, the A-level results come out uh, and every year it seems there's a similar story that girls are not doing physics and maths to a higher level, that the applications for universities are down um, or certainly compared with boys. But I definitely think with more role models out there and with social media and, you know, this picture of Margaret Hamilton with her handwritten code gets tweeted all the time. Uh, and so sort of images of these women and we're watching documentaries with women just talking about their work and I hope that girls who are interested in maths and physics uh, and any sciences will find those people an inspiration um, because yeah I definitely think that we're learning more about them and this idea of STEM and getting more girls into STEM I mean before I did my show in Edinburgh this year which was about uh, being an astronaut and not being very good at maths uh, I'd never really heard of STEM. I just thought it was another British grime act that I'd never heard of. Uh, but then I started to see it in relation to my own name, so I uh, paid more attention, obviously, uh, and uh, realised what it was and saw what it was. And I think, you know, so many people came to my show. So many women would come up to me afterwards and say, I'm a maths teacher or I'm a physics teacher and I really want to get the girls involved and get them excited about it. And, um, you know, I think that's all very, very heartening.